And hello there, we're back, or at least I'm back, and I hope you are also. Uh, this evening I'm gonna continue on, or at least it's the evening for me, I'm gonna continue on what I was working on last week, uh, which was creating commands in my solution, sending them on a queue, and then being picked up by some worker on Azure Function. Uh, and when this command is, be, is processed, it's finished, an event will be sent to Event Grid, and I want to subscribe to it. So that's what I was busy with last week. And I hope to finish today, because tomorrow I have a session uh, on this stuff, and I would really like to show this as a demo uh, to show the audience on how you can make this work and how easy it is, or at least how easy it can be uh, to set the stuff up. But first, how was your week? Uh, I'd love to know. I'd love to know what you have been up to. Um, I've just been, well, working mostly. Um, I've been playing a bit of Darksiders 2, uh, which is a kind of old game, but I have just, well, uh, learned to play it uh, two weeks ago, and it's quite fun. Um, but that's that's all about it. Nothing, nothing really fancy. No fancy stuff. I did a recording with my co-workers last uh, last Wednesday, which was fun. Uh, learned a ton and still have to edit the recording in order to publish it, which is hard to do because I'm rather packed with well work stuff. Um, so. But probably most of us are back with work stuff. It's been, yeah, busy. So I also got some cleaning up to do in this solution because last week I was doing some right click publishes uh, to uh, the Azure portal, which works, but it's not what I should be doing. So that's probably something for uh, next time. Also, uh, because I'm presenting tomorrow at, at the first uh, virtual SDN event, um, I won't be doing live coding tomorrow because I'm busy, well, on an other channel. You're free to follow, uh, of course, but uh, it will be in Dutch, so probably hard to understand for all my non-Dutch followers. Anyway, um, let's continue with uh, what I was, well, busy with last week. Um, if I recall correctly, and I've uh, uh, already booted up the code, I was busy um, doing some, uh, uh, sending a command in my API, in my front-end API, and sending a command to a queue, and it has to be picked up. And that's where we left off when I finished last week. Um, also got a, a comment later after the cast or after the coding session. My volume of my voice was a bit low. Well, the overall volume of the stream was rather low, so I uh, figured I, I well found a, 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 the volume settings of my microphone and the audio, uh, which I knew I could turn it down, but I also found the option to turn it up. So please let me know if my voice, if I'm loud enough, or if I should be louder. And also if the music is too loud or too low again, because I have been adjusting it and I did some recording and testing. And I think this is about right. But if it's not, let me know. Uh, I will listen back to it uh, afterwards, but it's annoying if you have to listen to it for more than an hour. And it's, it's well, not a lot of proper quality. So it also saves me some, well, editing afterwards because I had to normalize the audio levels afterwards. Um, anyway, let's go to the Azure portal. So if you remember correctly, um, or if, you, if you're just tuning in, this is your first time watching me, um, what I have here is the overall solution. I won't go over everything again, 
but what I have is the API events. It's a custom topic um, where I will be publishing my events. Uh, does it have, yeah, it has a store SKU. It has a subscription to a store SKU already, so that's good. Um, yeah, speaker API to the to a store SKU. Can we see it over here? Yeah, the speaker API events. So whenever something happens, a message will be posted on this queue. Cool. I also have another queue over here. It's the speaker commands and also a poison, which is empty, or at least last time I checked it was empty. So that's good. But this also gets created automatically whenever some message gets poisoned. So I think there was a message inside, maybe last week, and it got removed after X days. I'm not sure if that's also a feature on the storage queue. Uh, might look it up. I know it's something you can specify on the service bus queue. You can specify when a message on a dead letter has to be deleted automatically. It sounds like an enterprise -y feature, so it's not something I expect there to be on a storage queue. Maybe a time to live of seven days. Could be, could be. But we have a speaker commands queue where I will be posting speaker uh, commands to for the speaker API. So this is a rather general queue at the moment. I might want to make it more granular later on. But I could also do this uh, other ways because I'm using storage queue now, which is meant to do rather simple stuff like sending messages between systems. And I could go to the service bus if I want to use those features uh, later on. So what I'm thinking of right now is um, migrating this later on to a service bus topic where I will be posting all my speaker commands to. And on this topic, I will, I will cr be creating multiple subscriptions, one for adding speakers, one for updating speakers, one for deleting, etc., cetera, et cetera, uh, which can be handled via subscriptions uh, rather easy. Uh, but for now, this will suffice. I will only implement one command. So I've also opened this up in uh, Feel Studio. So this is the function I created. It, it checks the speaker commands queue to a specific storage connection, a storage account, the queue item, and I also had the speaker controller open. Yes, whenever I'm sending a post to, well my SCTP endpoint, I'll send a message and it will get accepted. Okay, so this is rather straightforward. Connect string queue name. I've, um, I don't know if I've checked this last week, but I think you still can't connect with a managed identity to storage queues. Uh, I could look it up. I won't be focus. I will not be focusing on this today. Uh, where's the browser? Storage view manage identity. Entity. Azure. To data with managed identity. Okay. Apparently, support AD with. Okay, so I can do this. I have to specify the RBAC, so probably the data reader and data writer. So environment variables, yes, those you need. Default Azure credential. Okay, so 
I could be I could use this. I'll, I'll uh, add this to my links to my notes over here. Um, sending commands to extremely what is damaged identity. Okay, so I will pick this up later when I'm cleaning up the stuff. I also have to deploy the function uh, which you saw before via uh, the pipeline. So I can probably do some cleaning up next week or cleaning up, making it a bit better. That's the correct term. So that's it for the start, the introduction. I'll just uh, get on it. Um, starting up Night Nightingale. So my alternative to Postman. I had some issues with Postman uh, a couple of months back. It wasn't loading anymore. Uh, so I looked for an, for an alternative. So Nightingale is a Metro app, or at least it's available in the Windows Store. And I kind of like it. Um, it's not as sophisticated as Postman, or at least there are some features I'm well missing isn't the word, but if you're using Postman a lot and you're using the automation inside it, uh, this probably isn't a good alternative. If you're just using it to send some requests to endpoints, this is good enough, even though it costs some money five bucks if I'm not mistaken um, so this is uh, this one let me turn on the music now oh, it's a bit loud for me I'll turn it down let's turn it down a bit more Hope you st can still hear it. If not, let me know. So, also got a new follower. I see Jonathan. Thank you. We, sp we spoke, or at least we chatted last time. I don't know if if you followed during the session or afterwards big thanks for the follow appreciate it so this is this and I'm connecting to localhost so better start this up and let me check if there's some if my function is also running just to be sure, I want it to be turned off at this moment because I want to see if the message arrives on the queue. So stop. Where app is stopped. Sorry, I'm just pressing my light button to see what happens if I turn my light to red compared to the yellow orangish. I think this is also uh, good. Using the stream deck for this. Obviously. So this app is stopped. Let me see if I can turn on. So the security API dot speaker will be turned on. Uh, I also want to rename this solution, these projects. Um, so to do sending with main identities, rename the projects, uh, deploy via pipe line, create use inside line so that's another downside of having storage queues 
you can't create them via ARM templates. There's this new thing called uh, deployment scripts, which, and I think you can use those deployment scripts for creating queues, storage queues with them. It's just a bit hacky and I can just as well do it inside my deployment pipeline. Also, one advantage of using service bus queues, you can create them in, uh, in ARM templates. So this one is running. Where's Nightingale? So Jan de Vries, level one, send. And this works, so I'm sending this command, F5. And I have it open here. Message failed. Okay. Input is not base. That's okay, so not what I expected. Strange. No map. So it's not base sixty four, but that's not a problem, right? I don't have to do that myself, do I? Send message. This is just a string. Cherry lines. This is also right. Also a string. Strange. So how can I see what's on it? So apparently Visual Studio doesn't let me see what's there can i see it from over here i thought that wasn't possible oh see there's something over here it's of the day so apparently this works apparently this works so that's Good. Uh, let me let me just copy paste uh, this message. So message text. And then speed command. And just make a note over there. And what's in here? Also, oh, this one is of last week. So this also looks very similar. And apparently this one failed. For some reason. Well, if I stop this one and start this one. Pick up speaker. So the connection, where are my secrets? Um, local settings, local settings. Okay, use development storage. I, uh, I want to use the actual storage right now. One moment. One moment while I fetch my secrets. It's, it's not very, very secret. I can just roll a new one after uh, this session. Still, I might forget, and you will be posting, or you could be posting lots and lots of stuff on my queue. So, there, back again.
<clears throat> Starting emulator. This is something you do once per day and never notice it again. I haven't done this in a while, it's, it appears. So, this failed. It's the same, uh, the same issue. So it, it did a retry five times, so I think it's on the, on the poison queue now. Let me, let me check. Running giggles. Yes, it's over there now. Still, why is this failing? I've I've never seen this fail again uh, yet. The input string is not a valid base sixty four string. So I'm not doing anything special, right? Stop it for now. Change the solution. Multiple. So start this one and start also the this one. Let's just start all of them. Apply. Oh, oh, I didn't want to do this yet. Oh, it also starts up multiple browsers. Annoying. Um, so where's my note? That's just JSON. What I'm seeing over there. Nothing fancy. It's C sharp formatted JSON. So the casing is strange compared to normal um, speakers controller. Where's the add speaker? Well, that's the command. Speaker control, this one. So connection string. Which options do we have? Oh, maybe sending a cancellation token because hmm. oh. it's a good practice to add a cancellation token, right? Uh, is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Has been it or API? Cancellation token. So, mm -hmm, get
Yeah, so it's a good idea to add the cancellation token. I'll just add it. <laughs> so any more? No, that's that's it. That's it. So why would, what could be the issue this doesn't work? So this isn't base 64, obviously. What would happen if I convert this to base 64? Decode files. Um, sorry. Decode from. No, I want to do it the other way around. Ah. Okay, so this. Uh, work, I think. Well, this looks pretty much the same. Looks the same. So this one should kick off any minute now. Okay, would it already be here? No. Um. I did send it, right? This is the deal was hanging. Of course. Why wouldn't it? Well, just close down. I'll just close it down. 
if it wants to we'll probably blame some extension for this Reduce storage okay manage the stuff install Um, okay, sign in. Mm, which account is this? Hopefully this one. Yes. No. Using the authenticator. Okay, all of them. So wouldn't this one have a dark theme? Yes it has, or at least it has a themes thing. Closed, what's this? New version, okay that's cool, uh, install and close. It would be nice if I could zoom a bit. Wow this is, this is an amazing tool. Great stuff, great stuff. Okay, let me try to add a message over here to see what happens. If I paste it in here myself, so that's the reason I copied it in the first place. And uh, Visual Studio is still hanging. Yes. Task Manager. And task. And it's gone. to the correct storage queue over here in the function where is it over here Let's see what happens So this one is open, I'll send a message, hello, works, so if I send JSON by hand, it works, it's picked up, and it's not over here, works, win, hashtag winning. So now, let's see what happens when I'm using Nipendale. Where is it? Send. So it should deliver me the same thing. So the serialize command, which is 
the same command we just copied and pasted in Storage Explorer. Have a cancellation token, F5. So there's a GUID, 134. It would be nice if there's a message. Nothing. And it has been picked up. It's not valid base 64. Why does it, does it have to be base 64 sent message async? Oh, oh, there's some notes over here. UTF-8 encoded. So, serializer options. Dot. Jason Swinging Light. What does it create? UTF-8. I don't need bytes. Sorry, I was distracted by some noise, so I was asking my wife what happened, and it was my dog brushing his, uh, well, he had an itch. So I want to see, so Your client sent message async.
So UTF-8 formatted string, which isn't a byte array, or at least I don't think it should be a byte array. This is the brokered message. And we're using the new one. Um, yeah. So this is the old way of doing it, or at least I thought it was, 2019, which is kind of recent. Q client and exchange Q name. So this app can handle it. And how is Visual Studio doing now? This one also fails. With the exact same error. I 
I don't get it. So this is your store skews. machine hey Sander how are you doing Lander P. Cool, cool, good to hear. I'm doing doing quite fine. Uh, was busy with work, a lot of work last week, and at the moment I'm trying to figure out how to send a message to my storage queue, which is failing for a non-obvious reason, or at least to me, because in my opinion I should be able to send a string to the queue and it will be picked up by my function, but apparently there's some base64 conversion happening which makes sense, but I can't, I don't understand why this doesn't work picking up the message because sending the raw message with some emulator works fine well let me let me try it out with this also hello so hello will be picked up oh apparently i closed it oh I'm uh, starting it up again. Set the start. So this works. Why doesn't the other one work? Because I think this should result in the same thing. Also, when checking out the poison cure, oh, this one, oh, that might be something. What happens if I'm not sending? If I'm sending hello without the quotes? No, no, it still works. Too bad. Because that was a, was the difference. Annoying stuff.
Must be UTF-8 conf strain. So what if I'm making this? Um, what was it? Um, there was some up here. So this one. Let me see if I make this. So this is a byte strain. Would this work? No. So there's a so creating it to UTF eight bytes and then converting it um back to a string again so i always have to look up how does this work default encoder escapes no masky json is minified to string UTF-8 Java C-sharp so that's this looks rather familiar this looks familiar oh where is it here Uh, I can't say. Is it still running? Sorry. Webcam's battery is empty. Oh, that's strange. Wow. Thanks. Oh. Uh, why it's not charging? That shouldn't happen unless the power is out. Oh, uh, webcam. Turn it off and on again. Is it warm? Is it warm? No, not really. It has a fix again. Okay. So, turn it off and on again. Strange. That never happened to me before. I've been streaming for one hour. Hmm. Strange. Strange. Thanks for uh, telling me I hadn't noticed it yet. Okay. It's 
maybe the warmth now it was warmer last week so it shouldn't turn off because of the heat um, okay that's LDS where's Nightingale result hmm Wow, this, it's worse. Okay, so it's pretty printed. That's a win. A five. So where's the function at? So is it still is it is it still here? Refresh. Yes, so the message is still here. I'm gonna run the worker now. Start new instance. No, no, still illegal characters. So what about the connection string? There's also the account key is also base 64. Let me just copy it again, just to be sure. Um, this one storage account the queue mm. no not this one uh, this copy So removing this, okay, saving, saving, well, this shouldn't be an issue, but you never know for sure, you never know, you never know. Oh, um, no, that was on a Linux function, so what I did see a couple of, uh, a while back we couldn't use um, the, uh, the, what is this, semicolon. We couldn't use this on an Azure function. We had to replace it with underscores. But that was on a single underscore. Because, but that was on a Linux hosted function. So that shouldn't be an issue over here. Also, it gets picked up when I'm using uh, regular or when I'm using this via the storage queue, so this shouldn't be the issue. Doesn't hurt to try. I'm really not getting into what to do. So, multiple don't need this one, don't need this one. Apply. Okay.
This wasn't what I wanted to do today. Add speaker. So why is this open like a dozen times? Probably because I copy pasted it a dozen times. This people's controller. Also don't need this one at the moment. Only these two. Oh, also not this one. Only this one. So I can remove this stuff again. So the serialized command. Anything special? No. Well, service version. Okay. What else? Nothing useful. Hmm, that's strange. So it turned off again. Let me... Thanks. Also, stuff is falling apart. One moment. this off? Yes, it does look off. Why? So. It looks like it's So now you see it again and so the back of my it's, it's like the uh, it's it's like the clean HDMI settings aren't working but I haven't changed those I haven't changed those. Where is it? So the battery is... where is it?
Well, at least you're seeing some behind the screen stuff at the moment. Hmm. Don't see much special stuff. Also, I, it's still turned on. Maybe I should set the temp setting. The uh, you can set when it should turn off. So. Um, Where is it? Turn off at specified warmth. Still here. Still here. find it at the moment. Still everything looks fine. Maybe it has been an update on either Windows or well can't think of anything else. OBS maybe but I haven't updated it. Um, maybe Camlink knows. I uh, probably can't use can't use this because OBS is using the image. Yeah, figured as much. Hmm. Okay, so probably should close it. And would OBS pick it up? That's also me. Okay, better. Strange. Strange this is also happening. So multiple things are going alright today. My wife also had some 
some problems today so maybe it's the air in this house um, so oh what's in there what's in here maybe this is special now oh the this one a level no it should be able to serialize this stuff this isn't it's just a one yes level one and again the cam is gone so what the heck is happening over here It's like the Camlink software. I think it's the Camlink software. Oh. Capture utility. No signal. Well, the. That should be maybe plugging it in again. Maybe the HDMI cable. Strange. Also, the complete camera is down. is a bit warm but not hot and also not where the sensor is let me go to movie mode what is the other oh, hmm okay so it says the battery is empty which is strange as it was connected it was connected so let's so it's charging now maybe it doesn't charge enough could be it, right? Not charging enough. Let me see if I can fix this live. Oh, it's also 10 o'clock. Um, one moment. I need a large. Says battery empty. There's also a light burning now. 
Wow, this is this is some weird stuff. So now what happens if I plug in the USB-C port? It also turns on, which is good. So if I turn on this, It's probably something you were eager to see me doing this evening. So it is charging. I didn't see it it's before. Battery empty. So I'm taking too much power while doing this. So that's good to know, beginners. Um, so I will, well, I'll, I'll charge this one. So I will probably do need a dummy battery. Or need. I want a dummy, dummy battery now. I thought I could just go without one. Because USB charging works. Apparently not as it's supposed to. Um, So, I can make this a bit bigger, can't I? So you st are still able to see me somewhat. Sorry for this amateur thingy. Okay, so it's not what I want, but it's what we got. Putting aside these cables. Where's the Firefox I wanted? Well, instead of me doing, well, no, no, no. Maybe there's an update to a NuGet package. No, no. If it, if that would be the problem. So there's a small update. Just update everything. Okay. Except, so is there a small update? Oh, uh, a release. Change log. Well, let's just run this stuff. See what happens. Hmm. 
build errors, sure. Uh, everything was still running. Or at least the function. Send. Yeah, that's... Wow. These are old packages, so don't need this post. Manager runs in sent message. This isn't rocket science. Create setup, create the queue, insert the message. Looks pretty much the same, aside from me using the send async. So connection string, that's what we got. The queue client, and I also got the queue client. Uh, tools options automatically close console. This is so annoying. So the queue exists, exists async, so now uh, let's let's just do the regular serialized command, so not using the async. Um, solution building, okay, so at f let me do this one first, uh, no. Remove this F five Night and Dale. So this is still the same command being sent, and it doesn't work. Wow. Or a byte array. I can also send a byte array. No. It says I can send a byte array, but This actually looks like the stuff I wrote a couple of weeks ago. Or did it now add message? Hmm. Azure Storage Queues 12. 
issues. Probably doing something wrong myself. Okay. Okay. Can I afford stuff? Yes. So Let's see what happens if I do this? So I need to do this. Let's see in a proper format. So this is the plain text, the bytes, getting the bytes, converting it to base 64. This sounds private. <coughs> I'm feeling confident this will also work. Okay, and now what happens? Yeah, this works. <laughs> wow. Oh. oh. So that's that's not fun. Um. Not fun at all. There you go, you can see a bit more of me. So. Okay, so this uh, works now. Wow. So I guess that's kind of proof. So this, this other person said... Yada yada, you should be doing... You probably do this somewhere... So... Mishra says the client library never encodes. Well, maybe it should. Hmm. 
maybe a bit, maybe a bit. So it has taken me way, way, way too much time. Venting this evening because this is taking up too much time. So I'm sending a command which will be picked up from over here. So this works. Let me just commit it. Where's fork? Did I close it already? Shouldn't have. So there it is. So the controller. Added installation token and how oh, is 64 and coding the message. Okay, and uh, what's this about? Updated the packages. Hmm. I'll call that suffix push. So that's a. Uh... Oh wow, this is also small. Let me, let me just keep it over here. So that's uh, that's this is uh, it for today. Too bad of all the difficulties. So with the code, base64 encoding it, and uh, with camera. Apparently it can charge fast enough when working, uh, when also doing videoing, or at least that's my guess. Um, so uh, better luck next time, tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll be at uh, the SDN event, uh, so I will be, well, hosting the event from, I don't know, it's I don't know if it's broadcast via Twitch. I don't think so. Or maybe, maybe it is, but I won't be on Twitch myself on this channel. Maybe somewhere else on the SDN channel. So uh, I'm gonna charge my uh, my camera, and I'll see you all. Well, hopefully next week. Thank you all for joining.